Hey, my friend. So DHEA is a hormone that people have heard about, but they kind of confuse it with DHA, which is a long chain fatty acid that's found in our brain. So I wanna differentiate the two and tell you a little bit more about this very important hormone. Again, DHEA is different from DHA, okay? Docosahexanoic acid is DHA. That's rich in breast milk. Uh, a lot, if you were to biopsy your brain, your brain is enriched in DHA. DHA, really important for brain health, for uh, the immune system, there's a lot of health benefits, but DHEA is actually a hormone that's made in your adrenal glands. And as we get older, in fact, DHEA levels start to decline, our natural synthesis around 20, 25 years old. Just like all the other hormones, whether it's progesterone, estrogen, testosterone. The challenge though, especially for men over 40 and women after menopause, is DHEA contributes to all the other androgens such as testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, which are important for maintaining lean muscle mass, which as many of you know, which is where your insulin and your leptin receptors bind to. This is where you absorb 80% of the glucose that's in your bloodstream. So muscle is really important. So we need a healthy balance of anabolism and catabolism. And as we age, unfortunately, DHEA levels decline. So I recommend testing your DHEA levels. I find in my clients are often suboptimal. They're on the low end of normal. Uh, when you test your levels, you wanna look for DHEA sulfate. Now this is the sulfated form, it's kind of the, the more stored form, and you wanna look for that. And, and I recommend, you know, for men being on the high end of 300. You know, for women, uh, you know, I, I don't know all the ranges um, because most of my clients, you know, generally are, are males, but uh, a lot of women, especially at over 40, their levels are lower. So let's talk about dosing and the different forms. So this is something that, uh, you know, a lot of you who have been supporting Myoscience for a while, you've been ordering DHEA from us, which is amazing. We have five milligrams, 10 milligrams. Now we have a scored tablet that's micronized. Now you might wonder, what, what is micronized? Well, this is a technology in the manufacturing process where you run it through a cone mill to disperse the material so it's a little bit better absorbed. I will tell you that about 50% of the data is on non-micronized DHA, another 50% of the research is on micronized. So it's a little bit more affordable. We sell the pure DHA and now we have the DHA Avail, which is micronized. So if you have gut issues, if you wanna really split hairs and focus on absorption, or you want a higher dose 25 milligram version, we have that available. And it's, it's in a score tablet, so you can break it apart if you wanna do say 12.5 milligrams, or you wanna do five milligrams, whatever. Now, with that in mind, let's talk about dosing. Of course, you wanna work with a healthcare practitioner. You wanna test your blood levels. But if we're talking about in generalities and before we get into it, I just wanna subtly remind you that in these videos, we cannot cure, treat, prevent, or diagnose disease. We're talking about supporting whole body health. And again, whole body health because your hormones are part of health and DHA naturally declines as you age. So dosing is really, especially for women, it's important that you do not overdo this. And I want to just underscore that women can certainly overdo DHEA and actually have hair loss and things like that. I had one female client who for some reason, her male doctor thought it would be a good idea to put her on 125 milligrams of DHEA every single day. Now, let me give you a little bit of background. She was like, she, at the time she was 29 or maybe 30, I'm 38. You know, I take about 30 to 40 milligrams a day. And if I take any more of that than that, it's way too much. Like I, I can feel you can overdo it. And I was looking through her labs and her DHA levels were off the charts. And I said, what's up with this? Like, are, how much are you taking? Why are you taking it? She said, I don't know. Uh, a doctor recommended it for me. He prescribed me 125 milligrams a day. And I said, that is way, way too much, right? So women, you wanna start really low. Five milligrams is where I would start. So you can look at our pure DHA or our DHA avail, the 10 milligram, break it apart in the morning. You wanna take it first thing in the morning. This is when on a circadian, you wanna emulate your body's circadian rhythm. DHA levels rise in the morning and then they decline at night. So in a way it can help retrain or entrain your body's circadian clock system. But ladies really start low. Now for ladies who have insulin resistance and maybe even some PCOS and things, your DHA levels might be high to begin with and you might not want to actually supplement with DHA you might actually more benefit from things like myoinositol, which we can talk about in another video. So ladies, go slow, start low. You don't, you don't wanna just rush into this, but I have many female clients that I've worked with 
we get them on just five milligrams a day and it actually makes a really big difference. They notice in their energy, their mood, just their outlook, especially during the dark winter months. So that's something that you can keep in mind. So now let's talk a little bit more about men. So men, of course you can overdo this. Uh, more is not always better because this can convert to DHT, which can actually accelerate you know, male pattern baldness and things like that. But if men are trying to optimize testosterone levels, which you know we all, as, as guys, especially physically active men, as we get older, we want to optimize. So you can start it. I would just say be safe. Do 10 milligrams first thing in the morning. See how you feel. After maybe a week, five days of doing it, if you if you're like, well, you know, maybe I go up to 20, and go slow and just stay that way, stay at 20, or be consistent for three, four, five days, and then slowly increase. That's how you want to dose this. You just don't want to go full in because, again, you can overdo it. You can feel angry, agitated all day. Like I've, when I first started doing this, I was like, well, if 25 milligrams makes me feel good, then 50 must be better. And I remember just feeling so agitated, so on edge all day. It was really an uncomfortable feeling. So. As much as I love DHA and take it every single day, even if I'm camping or whatever, you don't want, you know, too much is, is there is a, a fine balance. There's a U-shaped uh, curve with that. So keep that in mind. But again, there's a ton of research on this. It's under-recognized. The most, what I think is exciting about this, it's really affordable. Some supplements, some raw materials can get expensive quick. And some of them, you take a supplement, maybe, and I love resveratrol, for example, or whatever. You take it and you're like, I don't really know if I feel it. Like, I, I know it's supposed to be good for me, but you take it and you don't feel it. But this, that's what's different about DHA, especially if your levels are suboptimal. You take this and you feel it, you notice it, and it's sustained. If you ever have that afternoon slump where it's two o'clock and you're like, oh my gosh, I need coffee, I need something, like what is wrong with me? Why am I so lethargic? Oftentimes, you know, there's a lot of things that can be at play there. You have too many carbohydrates, you have a post-meal hyperinsulinemia crash, whatever. But you know, supporting your, your basic foundational hormones are very helpful uh, for having good sustained energy, libido, sex drive, muscle mass, all of that. So I, I thank you for tuning in all the way in. If you want more research on this, we do have some webinars for customers that, and we send you some information after you purchase products from us to get you informed about some of the science that goes into uh, some of the formulations. And I'll put links below with a little coupon code. So thanks for watching all the way through. Happy to help you on your health journey and we'll catch you on a future video down the road.